Right, so a quick video about some homemade pheasant trap bait. This will probably work with most birds, but this is something I make if I can't get hold of normal bird seed. Which sometimes you can't, you know, whatever. So this is just stuff you can make out your cupboard at home. So it's in a metal box for a reason, and that is because I'm going to get this, and this is going to be hidden down the woods. So to save me keep taking bait with me every time, all I've got to do is take this down there, hide it, and I can get it when I need it. So if you put it in a metal box, um, I'm probably going to put some straps around this, but if I put it in a metal box, it'll be safe from mice, squirrels, because I've made that mistake before, leaving just a bag down there. And when I went to get it again, it was all just chewed open. And that was even hung up in a tree. They'll get to it. So, um, metal box, and then you can hide it. And what I've done inside is in the metal box, there's individual bags. Just in case they get wet. So I'll explain what's in them and why. So like I said, if you can get birds in, then use that. But you might want to use stuff you've got at home in the cupboard, yeah, rather than go to buy stuff. So, most of them are the same, two, well they're two different types, doesn't actually matter about any of it. Right, so I'll just explain a couple of things. I've used tons and tons of different things to catch pheasants and nearly every single one of them worked, well every single one did work. I've used just bread on its own, I've used um, cornflakes. Crisps, no matter what flavour it is, any type of crisps, just scrunched up, bread, um, bird seed, Christmas cake, that worked right, crackers, biscuits, other types of cornflakes, all sorts of different things I've tried and they all work. And I think the key is, it's not so much... Well, there's nothing to do with the smell makes any difference, in my opinion. It's got to be visual. They've got to be able to see it. Because apparently pheasants, and including a lot of other birds, have a really bad sense of smell anyway. So as long as they can see it, that is the key. So what I've got in these ones is... They've all got broken up crackers, as in, you know, like Jacob's crackers, the square ones. Broken up, but not too small. Oats, sugar puffs or honey puffs, whatever you call them. This one's got cocoa puffs. Um, rice in it. Right, now the reason... Oh, this one's got cornflakes. Now the reason why I've put all different sizes and different things in them is if you chuck this bait out and it's raining or anything, some of it will wash away. But if you've got different sized things, some may wash away and some may not so for example say you threw this one down which has got cornflakes sugar puffs rice and like porridge oats in it the porridge oats would probably wash away and maybe the cornflakes but your sugar puffs and your bits of crackers would stay so then you've still got bait there if that makes sense and the rice would probably wash away but you've got different different sizes so it's still there, if you know what I mean. Also, if the wind's blowing, it might blow some of that away. But the bigger, heavier bits will stay there. So that's a couple that I've made. And like I said, um, sense of smell seems to be nothing to do with it. It's all about seeing it. So if they can see it, they'll go for it. And like I said as well, I've tried all sorts of different things and they all work. So that's just a couple of ideas. There's probably others you could try. And if anyone knows of any other ideas, it'd be worth knowing. So I'm going to put those bags in this. And then this is going to get hidden down the woods. That'll probably last a fair while. You only need a couple of handfuls. That'll go down there. Get that when I need to. You know, if it's just spur of the moment, it'll happen to be down there. I'm fancy trying it, I can do it. Right, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything I wanted to say. Right, anyway. 
Cheers for watching. I'll see you later.